Welcome to the pod today. Did you hear what Bunny Exo had to say? Former sugar daddy represented OJ. Said he was guilty to his dying freaking day. It's, it's the Punk Unicorns, Unicorns Podcast with Vicky Bay and Mama K. Yeah. The juice is loose and hell, bitch. That's right. He sure enough is. Think of all of his friends that he's down there with again. Just a moment of silence. That's enough. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how'd your week go? Uh, I fell out of my daughter's bed, busted my ass, tried to grab the blanket, grabbed my grandson, took him down with me. He busted his face. Aww. But other than that, just bitching. Sweet. Um, my week was pretty good. Um, we sold, uh, Lots and lots of uh, medical supplies this week. I was going to say, you're sp- you was busy because we didn't get to chat like we usually, I could tell you no, was busy. No, I didn't even get to take poopy breaks. Like, it was like 11, a moment of uh, life or death. Yeah, like 11 hours worth of slinging it. Damn, that it was, was like an Elvis crazy. Presley poop when you finally got to it, wasn't it? Oh, it's that so That was nice. a hunk of hunk of burning turds. And we have um, really good poopy spray in the bathroom. One of my coworkers, um, she gets like the good stuff. So right now everybody's poops smell like leather and balsam. I thought you were going to say leather <laughs> and ball sacks. Like, well, I mean, when you have to compromise, I guess, one or the other is going to have to ball, suffice. I, ball sacks wouldn't be too bad as long as it was like... Not musty. Yeah, like freshly showered... Went to the gym, ball sack is okay. Yeah, a little bit of uh, Irish spring up under them to remove Rye. the fermundas. And like that margarita saltiness. Yes, yes, yes. So, speaking of margaritas. <laughs> speaking of margaritas. And that has nothing to do with what I'm about to say. And this joke right here, go. it's my husband's joke, but he lets me do what I want. So... We have this thing where whenever a celebrity passes away, we whoever finds out first will text the other, the, just the name, in big capital letters. It doesn't matter who it is, just big capital letters. Whoever passed away with an exclamation mark. So, <laughs> I text him, O.J. Simpson, and he's like, the juice is loose. And I said, in hell maybe. And then I said, um, I said, well, he'll be even looser if he gets cremated. He's <laughs> like, then he'll be Tang. <clears throat> I said, that was a good one, dear. I'll take that one. Tang. So, thanks to my husband for allowing me to steal that joke from him. <laughs> so, do you remember when the whole OJ thing happened all those years ago? I do. I watched it on We were in high, right, in high school, yeah. Yeah, that, um, I think that's what killed Broncos, right? Yeah, I'd never seen one on the street after that. And when I did and I saw a white one, I steered clear of it. Uh, I still, I can't even talk. I steal. You still steal steal clear of them. You know what I was going to say? I was like, I still steal clear clear of them. them. All queer. Yeah. um, He's so queer, he can't even drive straight. but But that energy now has been transferred on to the white blazers. Yeah, because that's a yeah. In the in the other one. That's like not having a third seat. Yeah, yeah. What I drive. Yes, the white version of yours. That's the Illuminati car. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I didn't... I had no idea my car was part of their Illuminati. Um, it is. All white cars are. Oh, wait a minute. Yours isn't white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I don't like honky cars. Honky cars? Uh, my yeah. car is biracial. Oh, um, mine is... <laughs> well... Um, gray, so it's kind of like an android head. Yeah. Those one cars, I, I don't know what they're called, but when they're white, they look like those little things, those those guys in the white suits on Star Wars Stormtroopers. That's kind of the Nissan Rogue. That's my car. Like, no, it's not one of those. I can't... Chevy Sub... Is it I, I'll Sub- have Aragon? to... I, I have to send you a picture if I, if I find one. But yeah, um... They just look like them Star Wars people to me. I can't, I have no clue. Damn Star Wars people. 
I have no, look, I don't know who Star Wars people are. You know that. I don't either. My husband is the Star Wars freak and my sister-in-law, so they discuss the Star Wars bullshit. I, I don't like, know shit. Was it, was God, it I've so, cussed like solo? 19 times. Oh, golly gee willikers. Solo. Solo fit? Is that Solo, solo, baka. Han baka? Han baka chaboo <laughs> Princess Laybok. <gasps> I Lay thought Baca. it was Princess Labia. It isn't Princess. We'll Labia. have to Google it later. It On went, to OJ. Well, I was. Okay. Oh, go ahead. I was like, we could have talked about the Ewok some, but we'll save that for later. The ejaculations. <laughs> <laughs> the little furry ejocs. The galactic raccoons. <laughs> What about the little little guy with? Oh, uh, baby yada. Yeah, yada yada yada. That's where that yada 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 came from. I was wondering. Um, he has a name. That it has a name though. Um, now what I have seen it's is like Suniska or something. I don't know. Baba Ganoush. Baba Ganoush is good. You um, don't have Baba Ganoush. Shit. Mm. Is, is the Pope Catholic? That's the best kind of hummus is baba ganoush. It's the only kind that I can, because the I, 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 that's one thing that I wish I dug, but yeah. So, um, yeah, again, the juice is loose in hell. Uh, he died on April 10th from prostate cancer. He was 76. Condolences to the children and the ones that held him close. Because they're, they're rich now. Something. Maybe. I hope. Oh, wait a minute. Um, no, OJ was kind of poor, so he probably died poor. Maybe. Because remember, he was trying to steal stuff from people that <gasps> legitimately bought right. it. I forgot about that. Because I remember he was in jail. And Yo, I was, Boo -Boo, give me back my jersey. Give me back my jersey. I don't remember that now. Well, OJ, if you don't know who that is, that's Orenthal James Simpson. He was an athlete, an actor, an all-around good chum. Until he would. Uh, so in the 90s, uh, he was found not guilty by a jury in the death murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ronald Goldman. And that he was crazy. found not guilty. However, in civil court, he was, story. yeah, in civil court, the family of Ronald Goldman took OJ to court and he was found guilty in a civil court. So Could you imagine being what's his name? Keanu Reeves. No. What the frick does Keanu Reeves have to do with OJ? Whoa man. What was Kyoto? Kayama? Uh what was his name? Oh Kato Kalen. Kato! Okay, I knew it was something like K, okay? <laughs> Koyama. I had the biggest crush on him back Ko then. Koyama Shoten. He was yes, he, he was. was he was cute. something. He's still handsome to this day. I saw and him I, uh, send out a um, condolences to the family and everything. Um, but what I thought was very um, condolences. Well. Hold on. His kids weren't he, even raised by him, weren't they? Raised by grandma and grandpa. Well, no. Cato sent out his condolences and specifically said, I would like to send out my condolences to the children of O.J. Simpson and named individually all of his children. He had more than two? Yeah, I think he had like four or five. Oh, because he has that old, early he life, kids, early, middle yes. life, late in life. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so he said that, um, you know, he, he mentions all the children specifically and then instead of like going into detail on about OJ, he names all the children. He says, you know, my condolences to the children of OJ Simpson, names all the children, and he goes, and to the family of Nicole Sim Nicole Brown Simpson, you are in our thoughts and prayers. And I'm like, that a boy, Cato. That a boy, Cato. Right, I don't care say, what anybody says about right. you, Cato. They were calling Cato like the house guest from hell and the guy that would never leave. Like, no, dude. 
this was actually a smart dude that was just living his life and was at the wrong place at the wrong time. People were like, oh, he's involved. No, you leave my baby alone. Right, and it's like, how's he involved? You leave him alone. Do leave you know how him big out those Hollywood properties are? Oh my, well, and I was watching something this morning, actually, um, that was showing, like, the map of where, you know, Nicole's house was in proximity to OJ's house and in proximity to here and there. And, you know, there was just all these ways, all these ways that he could have, you know, made his way home with little to no disturbance. And then, um, true story, this was all happening, I think I was a sophomore in high school when this was all happening. What, when the OJ OJ stuff? trial. Yeah, I feel like we were pretty young. Yeah. Because I hadn't started partying yet, but it definitely was not junior high. I was in an English class, or an English, I, I, you know, shout out to Miss Wolf. She follows me on Facebook, I'll have to tell her to watch this. I have a cool Miss Wolf, too. What's her first name? Do you know? No. Okay. Not the same one, just wanted to make sure. Okay. So, Miss Wolf, um, there was like a... We were doing poems or something. Oh, and mine was an English teacher too. That's so I weird. <laughs> wrote a poem that rhymed about. There once was a man from the. <laughs> it actually kind of starts that way. God love you. I don't remember all of it because, like I said, it was. So this poem that I wrote was five pages long, front and back, about how my little undeveloped frontal lobe figured out how O.J. Simpson did this and got away with it. I wrote this damn poem. It freaking rhymed. I don't remember shit about a lot of it, but I do remember it started out down in California on Rockingham Way lived a guy who went by O.J. Oh, that's good. There was a line in the in the, uh, in the the poem that went, uh, his roommate named Cato Kalen, tried to call his girl, but he was failing, so they went to McDonald's and had a Big Mac. It's really important that we know about that snack. Because they talked about... Dude, I watched this trial. They talked about that damn Big Mac at McDonald's and what they ate at McDonald's and the drive through at fucking McDonald's for three damn days during that trial. Because I remember being like, how many more days can you possibly talk about an effing cheeseburger, man? Is this how Nancy Grace became famous? That I don't what know. What trial? What, that, there was a big trial before she was a TV person. But I, wait a minute. Um, you're thinking of Marsha Clark, right? Okay, yeah, Marsha Clark. Yeah, this was Marsha Clark's big, big thing. Who played her in the movie? The first movie. Oh my God. God, because you it asked was me too perfect. Quick. They, they. It, sh- I oh, even... what is her name? Because she's in a movie right now that's like really, really good too. I oh. want to say Kristen Wiig, but I know that's no. not who. I can see her playing as. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. I know. I would ask my phone, but it's over there. Um, I'll ask my. Well, my phone will stop doing my. Yeah, thing no, it. don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Somebody I mean, will tell us in the comments. Oh, I, oh my, I just had it. <laughs> Because she also, if I'm... Oh, wait, she's evil. She's from American Horror Story. Yes. Oh. uh. She also, I... If memory serves, she played played Patsy Cline at one time, too. Years and years and years ago. I only remember horror, like, weird things. Uh, Why can't I think of her name? She has a super beautiful, like, 35 year older than her wife. Um, Um... Fuck, why can't I? Okay. I, I 14 minutes. I've got to look this up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Shit tit. There we go. Time to get that out. I know. Look, it says it was listening to us. Marsha Clark was. No, let me see. I want to know she, what the actor she looks is. Good. She does look good for 70. You oh, go, yeah, girl, Marshy. Google Marsha Clark, y'all, because she looked gorgeous. She does look She's good. She's in like her, like. I'm a goth granny phase. Sarah like, Paulson. Sarah Paulson. That's who it was. Why couldn't I think Nurse of that heifer's Ratchet. name? Yes. Uh, just kidding. I don't hate Sarah Paulson. I'm probably one of her biggest fans. And I don't think it was her that played, uh, it was. 
she was more supportive. Now, I know damn well that fool ain't about to start drilling in the ground. I done told him, and I sent him telepathical messages. So, anyway, um, so, yeah, I had this long-ass poem, and it just went on and on about, um, I think the last line was even about the freaking Big Mac. God, now I want a Big Mac. I do, too. Oh, my God. I wish I remember the song from when we were kids where it's like, something in poppy seed bun with special sauce and lettuce, tomato. No, we don't have tomato on there. Um, lettuce, cheese, Are we special making up a bun. song? <laughs> McDonald's, if you need a catchy new jingle for your Big Mac. Yeah, somebody send a us a link. A couple slices of beef and cheese on the sesame seed bun with sauce. Yeah. Did I mention lettuce too and, and pickles if that's what you want to do. And, and bring back when you guys had it in a paper circle. Are they trying to Remember, assassinate us? Um, I don't know, but we're going to pretend like we can't hear it. I think what's going on is that will only be periodically because now they're picking up stuff. Yeah. They won't be busting. So okay. So it'll just hopefully be time when we're laughing. Do you think that the powers that be allowed the spirit or soul of O.J. Simpson to actually go to heaven long enough for, like, Nicole to come out and just be like, listen, my fuck. Oh, I, okay, mine's, I'm like a Hindu kind of person. Not, I am not a Hindu, but I mean, like... You follow that okay. I get it. So, when O.J. died, to me, he wasn't O.J. anymore. He was, like... And then light frequency. God damn, my car just fucking elevated. Right? So, that was a character that that immortal light being was playing. That's not necessarily who they are. It's like acting. I don't know. If you believe in souls, I think your soul plays whatever role it's a, a gets in each simulation. Okay. That, you know what I mean? Actually, so, so, OJ might have, in a previous life, been some really cool nun that, like, you know, fed a whole bunch of kids in, like, Muslim-occupied so. Spain during the Middle Ages. You know what I mean? Like, who knows? You never really know what you was so doing. So, I'm just going to hope that it is kind of like that. I and think then, I was um, a hooker. Oh, I definitely um, had a weird life where I was, like, a hooker. I had another life where I was friends with, like, Madame Blavatsky. I have all these memories of 1920s Detroit and Chicago. It's really bizarre. Like, I was like one of those, uh, one of those uh, women that they called like harlots that would do weird and crazy sexual shit like during the oh. first seasons of when they first started Are you to do like about... pelvic exams. And then I was like the weird heifer that like enjoyed the pelvic exam. Oh, I thought started you were being like about courtesans. I don't. I, I've Court... had a courtesan shot in my knee. I don't so know. in ancient in ancient Italy, um, back in the olden days, they had these ladies that it, they were professional prostitutes. And prostitutes a bad word, because these ladies were often the most educated women in their time. They read, they did their own banking. Uh, they read every single book that every single man wrote, and that's why they were so popular. Because the man could walk in there and talk with her for hours and then fuck her brains out and not feel bad about it. Because they were extremely skilled in other things like um, massage, Kinda singing. Like, uh, they probably all had little sex tricks that they did. That makes sense because you know those conjoined twins with the two heads that got married? Oh, they would make a killing if they did only things. A killing. And They'd my thing is, you know... It is none of our business how the bedroom works with them. It really isn't none of well, our business. But the thing is, is how can you not be like, eh? Well, because the guy only married one. Because they probably, they are, just like any twin, have really different personalities. Well, and, okay. When you think about every twin you know. Right. Yeah, some of you them you make a good point. Like, a lot of them are polar opposites. Even though oh, they're yeah. like, can, I'm sure the, you Especially know. Especially the, what is it? Paternal, fraternal kind, where they're just like se two separate eggs. They get yeah. split. Yeah. Those ones are different as night and day. Right, right. And 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 
it could be the same for them. I mean, I'm sure it is. Like, I know that, you know, the one, you know, one per they've got two separate brains, two separate personalities. It, it, here's where my dark humor comes into play, respectfully. Um, you know, people are asking questions, you know, how does this whole thing work, you know? She has an orgasm. She says that... But that's the thing. Now, if she, if she has an orgasm... They both have an orgasm, but then the the mar the the twin that got married says, you know, yes, I have sex with my husband. Yes, my sister's there. You know, you can't detach. You know, and she says most of the time she's you know doing this or reading a book or something. So here's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do they do some Handmaid's Tale thing, too? Look, I don't know like what's going on. Like, where they cover up sister with, like, a piece of satin? That was my next thing. Like, is there, like, a partition, that like, a little curtain, like, that they hang in between? Do they get a tattoo? Like, this is my thigh. Right. This is her thigh. Like, I... I, I and, and it's not... The, I guess the, the whole thing in a whole is comical, and I use that term cautiously because it's not like you're not making no, i'm not making but we're inquisitive as humans. i, I am so we, nosy we, we can't apologize for that anymore just like you know That's we've talked about is. polyamory my brother and sister-in-law were in a polyamorous relationship i could give a flying f who lays down with who i want to know the mechanics of this shit like how are you bitches not clawing each other's eyes out how are you like who takes, who does this? Who does this? Like, how do you make this run and function? Because I saw it for myself that it's a functioning thing that you can do it. So, did I, you ever watch Big Love? Mm, that teaches you a lot about polyamory. Now, granted, it's all scripted drama, but, um, Mormon guy leaves the more, leaves special Mormon cult, starts his own church, and has a business, gets all rich. Alpha wife has house. Beta wife has house, and then the third wife has a house. I don't know what the third thing is, mm -hmm. Roman, whatever. But um, they all live together, kind of, sort of. Yeah. But there's so many different dynamics. Some function where, like, one person's king or queen, and everybody's in love with them. Other ones function where everybody's in love with one person, but they're also in love with other people in the house. Mm -hmm. So within a group of six people, you might have a couple, a triad, and two singles. I have and a, a close friend. You have people outside of those. We yeah. have a close friend. She is married. They've been married for over a decade. Um, and they had reached a point where it was like, you know, we're hurting in our relationship and our marriage. We don't want to lose each other. We we love our dynamic. We love our family. But there's 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 just something. Yeah, and what if hubby likes downstairs play, and she's not okay with that? But you know, and, and vice versa. Or like, and and you know? for me, that's for me that was like the least thing, the least thing, because I'm like, you know, my husband is. You've met my husband. He's right. very very much an introvert, and me, I am like. Hey, bitches, what's up? Let's get down and shake. I was fucking dancing at Walmart at 6 a.m. yesterday morning with my girl Elaine that works up there at the Walmart. You I have to. Like, there's like, so many crazy people. My husband Walmart. would just be like, he doesn't speak unless he's spoken to. Yeah, it, it's just, we're polar opposites. But, well, you know. As you are. <clears throat> I make friends wherever I go. Yeah, but, like, back to the tw the twins. My thing was, if you watch videos of them, here's where we can kind of cross the line where it becomes like, yeah, it's comical, but not. So if you watch videos of these girls, um, they have the tendency to, um, when, there's, when one is speaking, the other one picks up like on the ass end of the sentence and will finish the sentence in unison with that person. So if if I said meeny, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, say eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, 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 miny. That's kind of how they would talk. So now, if sister 
is getting it. And then we both go. Mm -hmm. If sis is talking dirty. Eat my clip. So is this, so is this sister. So. And what if one of them. So if she's sitting there trying to read a book, right? She's reading of mice and men and Lenny's squeezing the hell out of something to try to, some kind of animal. He's killing that one woman. The, in the one yeah. Scene. And she's like, oh, yeah, this is getting really good. <laughs> uh, and you think she's talking about the book, but she's right. not. And then she's like, oh, okay. You have to, you have to be Lenny, bothered. don't touch vagina. Like, that's, that's where my head went. Like, you know. Well, and you know, here's the other thing, too, about wanting to be inquisitive about that. Everybody's like, oh, we, we need to respect everyone's personal space. Yes, we do need to respect everyone's personal space. But our inquisitiveness is biological. Oh, my People gosh. I get it from my mama. Minute, all of our sexuality developed in a group setting for tens of thousands of years. You were fucking 12 feet from your mom and dad. Six feet from your uh, yeah, well, brother you and could, sister. Right. Where were you fornicating if you didn't have shelter at that time? Right. Right and, there on and, the damn mound, and baby. nobody thought anything about Not it. Not a damn thing. It was just an so orgy for the all, ages. Right. So, of course, we all have weird kinks. Some people like to watch because they were the one person that didn't have a mate. So, they just always watched. Wow, that's really smart, Nikki B. Like, there's just... We developed our sexuality as a group, so no and wonder. And it got passed down through our DNA, so right. your so, great, 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 great papa might have been a watcher, too. And that's why polyamory works for a lot of people, because that's kind of what ancient tribes were like. They weren't the way we envision these villages of non -re No, you had people that were like, a tribe would have been like all four of Mammal's kids and their mates. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was the tribe. And you know, so the tribe we developed in so many weird ways, and we try to say that our kinks are kinks when really those are actually normal, right? You know, yeah, that's a you're whole you're act. you're seven times great, Momo. Well, you so think you think your dress. husband just learned that in high school? <laughs> right. Do you think he learned? Like my <laughs> husband does this thing with his tongue. Well, baby, his so papa. did his papa. Right, and Papa told him how to do it with a peach. He actually right. peeled a peach back and showed his, because grandpas were like that back then, and showed their grandkids this weird shit that they teach them. My mama never sat down with me like, hey, KJ, we gonna peel a banana real quick. Mom gonna show you how she got Papa. Well, yeah. that's not how Neander people did it. Well, I mean, like, yeah, well, yeah classes. you gotta think about that. When they yeah, everybody. So all these things that you people are like, oh, you should do that in the dock behind closed doors. Your ancestors did it for every goddamn body to see. People say dance like nobody's watching, Nikki B. You're gonna dance like everybody's watching, and you don't give a shit. Right? That's the way you're supposed to dance. It's like hello. When in doubt, titties out. We need to go back to having spring flings because <gasps> that's that how would be so cool. That's how everybody got that energy. From winter out, so you just go meet up with all these people, and we like, should throw a spring fling, and we all of make our a market thing, food. and then everybody at night has crazy wild sex and tents. Except for that part. Oh, isn't that like a music festival thing? I can hire a band, but well, then it would be yeah, then it would just be a regular music festival. I would thing. say we could do it at my mom. She's got a lot of land, but she really likes Jesus. I don't know if she'd like How that. How about here? We could turn this into it's the It's so stage. beautiful here. Right. It's really and nice scenery. My neighbors will let us cut the street off for a week. Johnny Dangle Dick lives right next door. You can bring in some sweet tarts. Not sweet tarts. Warheads. Warheads. Ooh. Warheads are so good. He'll take out his packet every time you give him one. We have so just got right off the topic. But that's okay. That's what we wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, because we didn't have okay. much to go on. So, but yeah, the people that I know that are polyamorous, like the guy when I asked him about it, he said it has it's hard. Obviously it has to be. I couldn't even mm -hmm. imagine. But it has its perks, which, you know, I can imagine. And 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 it's not even about the sexual relationship of the perks. It's one of those things where, okay. Just like I said, okay, like, use me and my husband as an example. My husband said, if you ever brought that shit up, I would punch you in the face. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, um, imagine but, if one one mate out of a, a triad is always manically depressed. But what if because they have two people there, 
that fulfills two needs and they're not made. And that's how plastic. the female, my friend, the female friend in this kind of sees that. She, they, I mean, we developed this group dynamics. She's got and, the husband and the boyfriend, and they both kind of complete the circle in a way, like where one lacks, the other makes up for. It, the, the saying, it takes a village, is so incredibly oh true. Oh, my gosh, yes. The nuclear family I'm the village idiot. has ruined us biologically because, yes. guess what? Some people shouldn't raise children. You got that shit right. So if they have children, then they can go live with the person that is best that raises children in that village. Because if you're all still together, the 30 of you, mm -hmm. that's a family. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, You make your own family. Some people are really good at just doing all the books and not really being bookworms and not really interacting with everybody else. Another person's good at organizing, so they get to be the librarian and historian. Yeah, there is, you know, there is, a a, everybody for... has a title. Mm -hmm. And what is so funny is, you know, my daughter has a best, my daughter is almost six years old, she'll be six years old in July, and she's got a bestie that lives across the street, street Gwenny J. And Gwenny J is six months older than than my daughter, but they are besties, They've done, they do everything together. And this one day, Gwenny J's older sister, Carrie, was like, oh, well, you can let your, my daughter's name's Rainley, you can let Rainley come over and, and stay for a few hours or whatever. And she kept her. She kept her over there for like a couple days. My daughter come home. And she's like, Mom, I just love going over to Gwen's house. It's like we're one big family and it, how'd she say that? In one big house with two doors. <laughs> one big house with two doors. Because That's a good literally that. we're back and forth all the time. Like I Tiffany's like, I need this. Can you go do, I'm like, yeah, I got you. Because uh, she is, um, she's also part of a rescue for dogs. It's called Badass Bulldog Rescue. Is this the person I see sometimes? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so she's got, uh, she's got her hands her. full with those pups. I think pups. I met her husband. Real tall guy, beard. Maybe. I don't think he was super tall. Not as tall as me, right? Um, he might actually be just as tall, if not taller. I just didn't Taylor is, is a pretty tall dude. If we're talking about the same person, I, I, I think I met her husband recently. Yeah. Too. So, her, her dog. That was one of the white cars. It was. Her dog, Jazzy, who I call Teats to the Streets, she had back surgery, so I've been going over and, uh, giving the dog her medication. And, uh, Did you put it in the wiener to give it to her? This heifer, Tiffany's like, now nah, be careful. She, she'll like, no, I got this. I've been doing this for, I know what to do. So what I found with my dogs is if you take the thing and put it in peanut butter and get it on the roof of their mouth, they'll automatically swallow it, right? Well, That's th smart. It is until you come across the freaking... The what the hell is that thing called? What does she got? A um, Chihuahua doodle? No, it's a bulldog. French bulldog. Ooh. She's got a French bulldog. So, Teets has this giant underbite, right? And she ended up having a slipped disc in her back and had back surgery. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for her. Like, her, in, her like, injection, or injection, incision site is, like, this long on her back. <gasps> That's like almost your whole oh, back. Oh my god, I does. feel so bad oh. for her. So I go over there and give her her medication, right? So I'll go and teach to the streets. That's her song. And all the other dogs are like, "What about me? What about me?" And I'm like, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, like, no, she um, she's got uh these dogs there, and you know I go in and I'm like giving them all treats, and if they've had accidents, I'll go and pick up their accidents or whatever, and I. At first, she had this, like, stuff, this, like, injecting stuff that looked like goop that she had to take. And I, Ooh. the first day, I put that on there and put it in there. And she, yeah, it took her a while, but she finally got it down. Second day, I did it, put it on the roof of her mouth. Boom. Not, no big deal, nothing. She, because she realized and the last that it several made her days, feel better, probably almost maybe, instantly. Maybe, but the last several days, that little heifer has been fighting me. But, of course, the poor thing, she's, she can't move because she's still, you know, pretty stitched up. And uh, so, you know, you try to get that pill down her throat, and she's just that underbite, man. She can get that thing, that pill under her underbite every time. And I'm like, so I'm trying to put my finger here to, like, 
keep her under my, I'm like, damn it, teats. And if people would hear me outside her house, they'd be like, what the hell is she what doing is to it, that dog? What is, right. But what I'm like, down I'm table? talking, I'm talking to it like it's, I'm like, take that goddamn pill, teats. And she was, at the first day, Tiffany's like, well, if you feel comfortable picking her up and taking her outside to go to the bathroom, you know, do so. And when I saw her poor little, I'm like, I'm not touching her. I don't even want to give her medicine. Poor thing looks so pitiful. But yeah, she's doing a lot better now. But um, but yeah. So um, OJ's kids. OJ wants to be remembered as a good guy. Uh, how how do you? No. Nice segue, right? Can figure out how to. No. <laughs> But how does Ron Goldman, happen. yeah, we want to know how Ron Goldman wants his, how Ron Goldman's family want him to be remembered. I want to know how Nicole Brown's family want her right. to be remembered. So, let's get on to our girl Bunny XO, because she dropped a bomb on us the other day, did she not? Thank you, Becky, for sending me, oh, Becky because sent it to Becky you. sent it to me, and if I don't give her credit for her, she will have a complete Thank fucking you, Becky. Becky, thanks for sending it to me on my, on my Facebook, Becky. So, former hoe and smoking hot wife up. Jelly roll? Oh, okay, because you know, I didn't know who that was. I was just going to pretend like I knew who it was for a second. Jelly roll's wife. I do know who she is because I love her. She looks like Hannah Nicole Smith got a new body. Yes. Yeah, I loved her. Okay. So, um, our girl Bunny XO says... That a former sugar daddy told her, a former sugar daddy that was on the defense team of O.J. Simpson said, yes, he was guilty. And that the sugar, di sugar daddy has since passed from cancer. Now, she said, and I don't think she could reiterate it enough for the idiots out there who keep saying it's Robert Kardashian. It's not Robert Kardashian. The it's woman, OJ. no, 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 it was, it was on his defense team, one of the sugar daddies. So we're going to do oh. process of elimination. I already know who it is. Marsha Clark. That's the fucking process. <laughs> that would have been epic though, if it was Marsha Clark, but no, it was part of the dream team. <laughs> so it's not Robert Kardashian. So there was four the of sugar them, right? daddy on the defense team. Well, there was like five, six, there was a bunch of them. So the dream team, Robert Kardashian, he did die in 03 of cancer, but as Bunny has said a bazillion, gazillion times, it is not Robert Kardashian. Okay, so can't be Robert Shapiro because Robert Shapiro is alive and 81 years old. Effley Bailey passed away in 2021 of natural causes because he was uh, old. 5,000, well, right. Like yeah, he was old. And then we have Alan Dershowitz, who is still alive at 85. Robert Blazier is alive at 76. Sean Chapman Holly is a female. So who does that leave? Good old Johnny Cochran, who passed away in 05 from cancer. Johnny Cochran? Big bad Johnny C. Because mm -hmm. you know he's our old baby. This is so good. I got a good one for you. But, but, let's think about this. This is how I'm thinking. And I don't know that Bunny has the answer to this either. But you know, when you go to seek representation, especially in a case like this, uh -huh. they tell you, you know, it's confidential what we talk about here. But I need to know everything and the whole truth so I can represent you. That's, you know, usually right, you how it goes. It. So what I'm wondering is, did he, O.J. Simpson, let his defense team know that he had actually done it? Oh, he, he is, totally did because he knew it, they couldn't say anything. Well, so here's my next question. Um, if he did actually admit to his guilt, admit his guilt to the dream team can they now disclose that information that he's dead absolutely they can i mean since he's gonna... dead does the 
confidential confidentiality dead too we want you to spill the juice on the juice mm -hmm. and there's only a couple people left to do that we got uh robert shapiro and i do believe he's still of sound mind from what i from what i can and the bottom tell guy would too, robert robert blazer and the female she, i believe she, or sean sean chapman holly was her name i'm so sorry Seriously, my son knows better than to interrupt during the podcast, and he just did. So is he grounded now? <sighs> you should tell him that he has to join choir now. He fucking would. He thinks he's Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Buddy. Thanks, Cameron. You yeah, just, Cameron, you just, you're you just, fucking fired. Ruined our whole flow, buddy. Damn it, dude. Don't ever do that again. You know better than do that. You know it's Monday and I shoot in the pod. <laughs> I put my phone on. Do not disturb. Oh, that's what it was. He is found guilty in civil court. That's the same damn thing. Right. So can we just say it now? Can they just say it so I we mean, know? Right, because you know his kids think he killed their mom. So. Well, you know, there was a... Um, a clip that I saw of Robert Kardashian. Mm, was he better looking than his kids? I thought Robert Kardashian was a good looking man. Yeah, I don't know. He, he's he very, like. to me, he's very like um, super Italian guy, you know. So he's isn't got the it gray weird patch. that Chris Jenner had a kid with OJ Simpson? That's the rumor. But well, you know she does look just like OJ. I can especially see, especially before the plastic surgery. I can see the resemblance, but for me, all the Kardashian girls, all of them look like their mother. I just, for me, Except I can't see one. anybody looking. Before they all had plastic surgery to look alike. Well, they didn't like the two girls. Well, I still, I mean, looked they like looked alike. Bef yeah, well, they I could see like that. They looked for sure. But then, um, whose baby was it that Chris Jenner was saying um, was like reincarnated Robert Kardashian, one of the newer babies? And oh, I the saw it too. One, the yeah, baby. he does. That baby does favor. It, it's so funny how oh, those wait a genetics. Minute. Chloe's kid. Chloe's kid. Chloe Not Kardashian. Chloe. Courtney's kid. Because doesn't Courtney have multiple children? They, I think they all have multiple okay. children. But yeah. Um, you know what? I don't normally like to talk shit about kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them but, kids. But I am going to say, Kim and Kanye's daughter is absolutely rotten. Oh, Wes. She says North. the most god-awful things. She is going to be, like, I know that that is 100% her family's fault that she speaks that way. But she reads her mother like like she's got Chris Jenner inside of her like look, she does have Chris Jenner yeah. inside of her but she says horrible things to her mom and she doesn't listen she absolutely does whatever she wants there every time I see a clip of her being a brat I'm just like <sighs> well the last I heard I saw a clip where she was actually on stage with her father Kanye West and made the announcement that she's making an album North is that's why she go to her dad's now all the time. Because <laughs> he don't tell her no. I'm going to my dad's. He said I could make my own rap album. And that he's got lots of friends that will help me. So, guys, um, we talked about Gypsy Rose last week. Ooh, she's... This heifer is digging herself so deep into a hole of what the fuck. She's trying to get 20 years of what she thought she should have been on social media for. Oh, my God. In, in like, one month. This girl has had... She married this Ryan guy. Well, she was with this one guy. That she, okay, she was with this one guy. Then she married the, her husband, now Ryan. She got out of prison. The D is fired. Now they're getting divorced. She wants a restraining how order. They, how did they get a divorce? I don't she know. She hasn't been married long enough. Isn't that but just they could, normal? Well, yeah, it just depends. I thought it had, to, and I might be wrong, had to do with something consummating the marriage. I don't know. That might be old fogey time. I don't know. Ooh. But 
she wants, and now she's back with ex that she was with before Ryan, and now she wants a divorce, a restraining order, and spousal support. Um, how did they you crazy? She right, said, how did they you figure want? out spousal support? Like, if it's about how long you've been together, then she'll probably get like fourteen dollars a month. But the thing is, is she's like the reason why she wants it is because because he has it to give and she is in need. Bitch, you are you are on li book is deal. lifetime not fucking paying you for this right, life after lockup horse shit? You've gotten a nose job. You've gotten your teeth fixed. Why the fuck does he have to give you any money? Like, why doesn't she just join? If a judge, if right, if she. <laughs> If she is awarded spousal support in a court of law, that will be where two idiots meet. Yeah. I swear. Well, we'll have to make fun of that judge forever. Ever and ever. Forever, ever, forever, forever, ever. It's like, because she could have went through, She all she has to do is have someone sit there, she tell a story to them, and then they turn it into a book. And then there's a check. And right, and they're making her famous for all the, all the, all the, all the wrong reasons. Um... So we only wanted to dash into that heifer. Um, yeah, freeing them. And, then and I'm going to tell a story about what happened at my niece's freaking baby shower yesterday. And baby then we're going to talk about a guy that I have followed on TikTok for several years who's a musician in Italy. Then he came to New York. And then he went to London. And then he met up with one Jared Leto on the street corner by mm. chance. Mr. Francis Jupiter, I'll be talking about him, but let's talk about this shit first, okay? So I go to my niece Mackenzie's baby shower. Her dad and I, I call him my first husband. We've never is been this married. Her first, is this this your... is her first baby, yes. Okay. Um, but she's got brothers and sisters, and all but one of her siblings have children. So her father... And I have been best friends since the beginning of time. His name's Josh. We call each other our first spouses. We were never married, but we've been that close. We were that close. Okay. And his kids have always called me aunt. We've always, I've always been close to his kids. So this is his youngest child, and she's having her first baby. So we go to her baby shower, right? So as I'm going there, everybody's preparing for my arrival like I'm some fucking celebrity or some shit. Did they put like red carpet and shit out? Almost. I, I, I thought about asking them. And Lights, Mackenzie's like, oh, okay, well, we're going to wait until we smoke. Wait, everybody's going to wait until they smoke till you get here. And then I was getting ready to go eat. And my nephew was walking. I was like, where are you going? Are you going where I think you're going? He's like, yeah. I was like, not without me. So you better just go get a plate. So he does. So we go in there and we sit and we eat or whatever. And I'm like, hey, I'm ready when you are. He's like, okay. And he's like, when you go out this door, because I started my plate away, so when you go out this door, you see that big crowd over there, you'll know that's what we're doing. I'm like, big crowd, damn, there's got to be at least two or three things flying around there. Like, hell yeah. Yeah, we used to do that every Easter. <laughs> so I was excited. So I walk, I walk out, and I go over to the group, and I'm like, why don't I smell anything? Like, there is probably... 10 people standing around this truck and I smell nothing. And I'm like, okay, well maybe they're waiting for me to get there before right, they're they waiting fire. waiting for the elder. My nephew, God bless his little delusional heart, says, oh, here you go, Aunt Kathy, and hands me his fucking pen. I start looking around. Oh, wait, they're Gen Z, aren't they? Uh, I'm holding it and Who's I'm that? like, Looking at everybody else like, where the fucking blood? <laughs> and nobody has anything except for these little... And I said, his name, first, middle, and last. And I said, what the fuck is this? And he, I said, is this what we passing around? I said, because, um, no. I said, where... I said, I need some... I need flowers. I said, I I can't buy. I start saying, I can't buy myself flowers. <laughs> I need someone to get them for me. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, handed me this. And I'm walking away as his dad's walking up, and I was like, you fucking failed as a parent. What right? Like, like, what dude, is wrong with you? What is your dude? A vape. Oh, I mean, I know we babe. have one, but that's for 
uh, monetization reasons. Right, because we can't just be puff, puff, bass in a bowl here. So, oh my God, so that was my weekend. Like, don't ask somebody over 40 to join the circle and then hand them something. <laughs> I was like, y'all are fucking kidding me, right? I've never felt so elderly so in sad. my life. I would be so I sad. I was sad, but I was also like, God, man, I'd be like, First I'm old that's come to this. I'm desperate. So, like, this is this from Michigan? Because if it's from Michigan, I don't want to touch it. I, I, I was so just like, I said, man, don't ever do that to me again. I said, that was crushing. It hurt my feel goods. Right. And you, now I ain't do. You're like, I need to send you out Jim. So. Like, what's up with that? I would like to play something for you. Is it something that is free? Yes, it's a, it's Francis like, Jupiter that I showed you. Oh, he won't care if we play No, it. he it's wants not... us to play it. So, this guy has been all over, and I have just, I have watched him develop his craft on the side of the road in a car with his dad and his brother making videos so he can get out there. And I've even watched him fall in love and find, like, Aww. this kid, he feels like one of my kids to me. Like, you know, one of my TikTok kids. And his name is Francis Jupiter, and he's just the cutest thing ever. That's a cute and name. And I want to play his song. If it was the 50s, he could be Frankie Jupiter. <laughs> Oh, I thought he said Jim. See when that is it. He is so freaking adorable, and you know he was standing. Is this the one with Leto? Let's see if he's got that one on there. Yes, yeah, so this is the one where he's playing. Playing on the street, playing this, a street show, and Jared Leto joins you on a street. Did Jared Leto like rip his shirt off and all of a sudden no, he look, has makeup still, and pretty long hair? He does. He looks like sexy Jesus. Isn't that awesome? Like he comes up and he starts singing with them. Was he singing that 30 Seconds to Mars song? Yes. Uh, oh, he just took it from him? You know I meant... Did you hear what Nikki B just said? Oh, so he just took the microphone from him? Let me talk to you about that. That's I not even actually, cool. He's the street performer. I so did a freaking stitch of that when, when, when Francis first posted that video, and I'm like... I don't care if you are Jesus Christ Superstar. I'm don't the performer. Don't take my microphone, bitch. Why? This is someone's chord place. That I'm, was fucked up. Yeah, I'm singing your song. I'm singing it. Don't take my microphone, Jared fucking Leto. Right, and then Jared Shit. went all like... Yeah, no, stop. We, we like Francis's version. We love Francis Jupiter. So you need to follow him on the talkie ticks. Yes. He yes, is me. so awesome. His music is amazing. I'd love to hear him do a synthwave song. I don't know. I told him I would send him the the podcast information as soon as as soon as we get it up and I know eventually we'll have an actual studio. Nikki needs a little bit of time getting it up, so yeah. we'll get it to you. If anybody has about 900 square feet I for thought you were going to say free, 900 milligrams of Viagra. No. <laughs> That's really because I said it takes a while for Nick to get it up. And you're like, I need about 900. I'm like, no. you need that much milligrams? No. Only because it, it's like the eighth wonder of the world and it weighs like 30 pounds. That's the only reason. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. What I've read well, on is, yeah. Speedway's walls. It says that on my OnlyFans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have an only hams. Only hams? Oh, like where you eat ham and crackers? And that's sweat. Kind of, that's kind of hot. It is. Mm. Well, look at us. That was oh a God. smooth podcast. It was. We did a good time today, you guys. We what, are almost to go through. to episode 
Next episode is episode nine, and... Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Yeah, episode ten will be on um, in Hawaii. Oh. You guys are going to love that episode. Yes. We're going to be on a beach in Kauai for... Green screen? Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to be on the green screen? Yeah, we're really going to Hawaii. No, not the green screen. I mean, yes. We're yeah. going to Hawaii on Elvis's private jet, the Lisa Marie. We are going to go down... They, Elvis said we could use it. Yeah. He's a cool guy. He's like in his 90s or something. Mm -hmm. He sells me my pot. <laughs> Uncle Elvis. Uncle E! Uncle, Elvis. Uncle E got that Zaza. And this is the Punk Unicorns Podcast. Get your marijuana from Elvis E. Yay! Punk Unicorns Podcast! With Mama K and Nikki B and Nikki B and Mom. Oh, I gotta stop when you do that. <sighs> I know, right? Everyone should have a fart noise at the end of their... Everyone. At the ends. I mean, just let the gases flow, bro.